Hi! Today I have another requested look for you. And this look has red, orange, copper, gold, and green. So it reminds me of uh, the fall and all the beautiful leaves. You know how they all change and we have all these beautiful colors. So this is the look. See, all the colors are concentrated up here, and down here is the green. So let's get started. I already have a primed eye, and I'm going to start. I'm using five brushes today. Five. So we're going to start with this guy. It's a fluffy brush, but it's kind of small. See? It's a small guy. Um... And I'm going into Coastal Scents Red. I'm going to start with that color. And that color is going to be applied right in this corner. So... Start like this and just sweep it in. And in here, we're not bringing it in too much. I'm going to keep it in the outer corner. Hold on a second. Bring the little guy here. He wants his mama. Okay, and just a little bit at a time. Bring it in and up a little bit. And I'm letting the shape of the brush help me to create the shape of the color. So see, it starts there. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. I'm going to intensify it a little bit more. And the next color I'm going into is the Body Needs Risque. This color, is the closest they have, well, it's kind of reddish. Not a true, true red, it's reddish. It's really pretty though. And they have several colors that have a reddish tone. They just don't have a pure matte red. Okay, in that color, I'm going to pat it right here. So you can see it's more like of a metallic looking color. I'm blending it with that red. And then the next color, I'm going to be getting a copper color from um, Coastal Scents Eyeshadow Blush Palette. And it's going to be, where is it, this guy right here, that one. It's like a nice uh, copper. That one, I'm going to put right next to Risqué. And also on top of the red. And notice I haven't changed brushes. This brush works for this look. I just clean it off on a dry washcloth. And put it on top. Like that. So 
So I'm gonna put a little more like this, and then bring it up. messy but you see I'll feather it out a bit later. Next color we're going into is the Body Needs Tangerine. You can see it's a beautiful bright orange. It's from their uh, I want to say eye candy candy collection. They have all these beautiful bright colors. And I'm putting that one right in here. You know what, this time I am going to want to change into this brush because this area in there is so small. I'm going to make sure. So put it in here. Blending it with that copper. Okay. Just trying to touch all my makeup. So it goes in there. Thank you. Okay. Next thing, I'm going to go into a gold. Yeah, look at that. And this is a palette from Wet n Wild. I don't even know if they still have this. It has these colors in it, and I'm just going to use the gold color in here. You can use, of course, any gold color you have. And I'm using this, and I'm putting that one right in here. Using that same little, the same little brush. So, here we go. Right in here, and and your gold's going to be right in there. The next color I'm going to use is this green. I'm going to the green. And this is Ch Chalet Green. See how pretty that is? This is from the Body Needs as well. This green is beautiful. It's not extremely bright. It's more like a muted, but it's really, really pretty. And that's with an angled eyeliner brush. I'm applying it under here. Notice I haven't blended any other colors yet. I'm saving that for last this time around. So you just dab it on like that. No, Shiloh, don't eat it. So, just like that. Yeah. The last color I'm going to be using is Iced Gold from The Body Needs. This is such a beautiful, shimmery, gorgeous, gorgeous color. And that one we are going to place up here. And this is when we're going to start. This is when we're going to start blending the colors. for my son. Everything was going great and he decided right now that he wants me and he wants to do all kinds of things. So you see how I'm just blending like that. I take a little more and then dab it on. Right there. And that will blur any lines. Now we're going to take this guy right here. And just slightly blend these colors in here. There you go. See? There it is. 
Last thing I'm going to do is the eyeliner. The eyeliner I kept it pretty simple. Not all the way like I usually do. And only on the top lid. I didn't do a whole eye. You can if you want. Do your eyeliner however you please. But I decided to do this kind of eyeliner this time around. Just to the eyelashes, to where the eyelashes begin. And to where they end. Like this. And then bring it up slightly, just a little tiny tail, to kind of complete the eyeliner. And voila! So put your mascara on, and your look is set. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and the look. Until next time, bye!